Hello, world. Hi, I just hit 5,000 subscribers on my Python programming YouTube channel. And to say thanks, I just want to do this quick little video to tell you a little bit about myself and how I became a self-taught programmer. So a little bit about me. Uh, I'm retired Air Force. I did 21 years in the Air Force. 10 enlisted uh, fixing electronics equipment and then 11 years as a finance officer. I'm married with two kids. Um, my 21 year old who just got married uh, doesn't live with me anymore and a 15 year old who of course still lives with me. My hobbies are basically just personal finance and computer programming and that's really all I do. I read uh, books, check websites, uh, just read about politics, economics, and personal finance. I also read a lot about Python programming, um, programming in general, electronics, makers, stuff like that. And I currently work at General Dynamics Information Technology here at uh, Bossier City, Louisiana. And I don't do anything with my Python programming skills in GDIT, but uh, I do business development and capture new work and selling our services issue resolution, things like that. So it's a really good balance between the corporate skills I learned in the Air Force and the tech hobby that I have and the passion. So my previous programming experience, um, I have no formal training, I didn't go to college, I haven't taken any formal Python programming classes. In the late 90s, kind of in my high school, I experimented a little bit with QBasic. It was a simple text style programming and uh, I was able to create a little text game and that's about it. And that's kind of where my passion started. Uh, I wanted to be Tony Stark or Bruce Wayne and notice I didn't say Iron Man or Batman. I just wanted to be the rich uh, entrepreneur that has my own company and I'm financially independent to do whatever I want. And what I didn't realize, especially as a comic book nerd, was it wasn't them who started their businesses, it was their dads and even their grandpas. So I should have read a little closer, and this may surprise you, but the military doesn't pay you enough to become a billionaire very quickly. And so I'm still working towards it though. Maybe my kids will have a better opportunity than I had. Uh, about 10 years later, I had my degree, so I had to use some computers or not computers, but some Excel and PowerPoint. But when I became a finance officer, I really started adopting Excel, really started learning it. Uh, I mastered the basics. I started with pivot tables, and really pivot tables became the bread and butter of who separates the, the chaff, if you will, of the people who are very good at our career field and the people who are average, just people who can quickly use Excel and get insight from the data they're seeing. Uh, from there, I also experimented with Access and PowerPoint, uh, but eventually I kind of capped out at the normal skills. So I started learning about VBA programming, and I had a very difficult time at the Pentagon. We downsized, had some really bad managers who just flooded me with work and no prioritization, and it was almost nonsensical decision making. And so I had to rely heavily on automation. Uh, the systems, the financial management systems we have were super subpar, um, almost laughable about how bad they were. And so um, automating really saved me. And from there, I just really wanted to, I had a passion for automation. And we all love Iron Man. And what we really love is this endearing friendship with Jarvis, his artificial intelligence. So I said, you know what? I'm going to create my own AI named, you know, I didn't know it at the time, but now it's called Shane. And my whole Python programming channel is dedicated to me building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So what are my tips on if you want to become a self-taught programmer? Um, learn the basics. So I watched a free eight-hour tutorial on YouTube. Uh, the, the, the resources are endless on YouTube. Very good. I like programming with Mosh, Sentdex, and Tech with Tim. 
Uh, they have all the tutorials you need and they still publish material all the time. Then, you know, try not to get stuck in tutorial hell. And this is where a lot of people lose interest in programming is that they just do these tutorials that don't really mean a lot and you don't feel like you're any closer to your dream. So you kind of have to pick a project, right? So mine was to create my own AI and then break it down from there. So what is an AI? What is Jarvis known for? For his almost conversational style uh, command driven. So like an Alexa or a Siri, but more friendly or if you will. And so I had to learn speech to text, uh, speech recognition, um, natural language processing, so you break it down. So if your goal is to make a, the next brilliant video game, what's the, well I wouldn't suggest Python for one, but what, how do you break that down? You're gonna have to learn graphics, you're gonna have to learn um, battle simulations or whatever, and, and just build up from there. The next one is when you're watching these YouTube channels or going to a GitHub channel uh, project, which I'll discuss later, um, don't copy and paste the code. I mean it. Um, the biggest problem is that we eventually, once you become a senior developer, by all means, copy and paste, especially from Stack Overflow. But while you're learning, type it out. What is it doing? Go line by line. Um, one of the most valuable things is to put print statements throughout to kind of see how Python interprets the data and how it goes and what the flow is. And so, you know, one of my tips is don't copy and paste. Another tip is to um, learn GitHub. Learn what GitHub is, learn about the readme's, the, the files, how it's structured. And so this will help you a lot um, because usually projects on GitHub are finalized projects. So you'll see a lot of classes and inheritance. And this is something I didn't do well when I first started. And it's still, you know, knowing how to use classes and decorators still kind of escapes me. But that's because I'm still novice to intermediate. And so learning GitHub, learning how to do what a real program looks like. And then finally, I would, um, something I didn't do is I try to learn it all by myself. I do that with pretty much everything in my life. And it's kind of costly, especially in personal finances. Find experts, find mentors and start working on projects together, you know. Um, I've, I've helped a lot of people with small businesses and personal finance, and we have this like desire to keep it within us because we're scared somebody's gonna steal our next billion dollar app, and that's not how it works. That's not how the Silicon Valley works. It's about finding people who can point you in the right direction, and so that's kind of my final step. So I hope you enjoyed this video, just a little bit about me, and thank you for the 5,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can get to 100,000 subscribers in no time. And if you're not a subscriber, please do. And uh, leave me a comment and just tell me hi and, um, you know, wish me the best. All right, thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.